Hello, Bobcats. Brad Schreifler here again. Uh, today, I want to talk real quickly about how to publish your Nearpod. So whether you created it in Google Slides using the add-on or you created it directly in PowerPoint and uploaded it, once you're done, it will go ahead and show up right here in your My Lessons. So you'll go to nearpod.com. Once you're logged in, it'll take you to your library and you should see it right here. If you created it and have already published it, like you hit the publish to Nearpod button on the Google Slides add-on, or you hit save on the other, then you will see a live lesson or a student paced option. With distance learning, typically we're going to do a student paced option because live lessons aren't going to work if we don't have people in front of us. As a quick note, if you don't see these two options, for example, with this one right here, you want to go ahead and hit save changes, and then that will add those back in. So we're going to hit save changes on this one. And now you'll notice it sends me to give me some quick details about the lesson. Temp lesson. I can put a description if you want. We need to at least put a grade level. So we're going to say seventh and we're going to say the subject is whatever professional development. I don't even know what that is. So then hit save and exit. Once I've done that, now I'll have that live lesson or student paste. But with this one right here, we're going to do a student paste. So you'll see now we have this code. So now there's a lot of different things I can do from here. The easiest option is to just hit link and then that will give me a code I can give directly to my students. So I can go ahead and copy that code and then put that link directly into my Canvas. So let's say my Canvas course for Shref Tech. And then if I want to add that to an existing module, I can just hit plus. It is going to be an external URL. I'm going to paste that URL right there. Give it a name. Nearpod Lesson Computer Science. And then hit Add Item. Now I've added that in and I just need to publish it and my students will be able to see it. So I'll click that button there. I hope that helped you guys understand how to publish these lessons for your students so now they have access to them. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, bradley.schreffler at ocps.net. I'll be glad to help you out there and I hope everybody is having a great day.